I'm Ian Westerman and I'm playing two doubles today. So, it's official. Ian from Essential Tennis is now rated a 4-5 in USTA NTRP and he has officially joined my team. So, to recap, it's me, Scott, aka Angry Old Man, Ira from Essential Tennis, and Ian from Essential Tennis that are all in one state league team in the greater Milwaukee area for USTA 18 and over. So it's kind of like an all-star cast and I am super excited to see Ian out there, not as just a hitting partner or actually my opponent, but I'm excited to see Ian out there playing doubles as a teammate. So he's gonna be recording his match. When his match is fully recorded and edited and published on the Essential Tennis YouTube channel, I will leave a link to that video in this corner if you guys wanna check it out. It's gonna be pretty interesting. I believe it's going to be the very first fully recorded State League match probably ever. Unfortunately, I am not playing this week. So what I'm going to do when I get out there later tonight is to actually document it. I'll be hitting with a friend but we are playing at a Brookfield East High School, which is a local high school here in the Milwaukee area. And I'm really excited to see if we can come out with a 5-0 victory today. So, let's see how this goes. My partner, we played two doubles and we won two and two. Tough day today, uh, really swirly. Well, not really swirly. I guess it was pretty consistent like direction, but it was kind of on and off. And you didn't really know when it was going to be hitting and when it wasn't. So the first set especially was kind of squirrely. Squirrely with that speed. Uh, you just didn't really know what was what was coming. Yeah, the wind was real fickle. At times it was it was blowing hard, and other times it wasn't blowing yeah. at all. So yeah. just a matter of getting used to it. Shots that would have been good shots, like didn't make it over the net, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. at, at some yeah. points. Yeah. Well, we felt we, we felt good. Got into a rhythm there after kind of loose couple first games, but yeah. uh, then we I didn't feel like we were really threatened much. I felt we did what we wanted to do pretty much. And uh, once we out. started making first serves. Yeah. Once we started making first serves. We both double faulted like three or four times in a game, and yeah. then we were like, okay, let's make first serves. Yeah. And then I won. I made four first serves, and we won four points, and he made four first serves and one four points. We went eight for eight, and we are like, okay, just make the first <laughs> just serve. Just get the first serve in. So yeah. that's your lesson for the day, kids. <laughs> That's the thing people gotta learn about you, man. You have that like down line, low backhand shot. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, most humans cross. Yeah, because yeah. they think up. that's like yeah. nobody yeah. makes yeah. that shot, but you make it all the time. So. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, really <laughs> that's, that's the scouting report right here. He's <laughs> 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 yeah, gonna, yeah, just, like, just, like, just gonna stand in the alley with his racket like this. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, here we go. I'm ready for it. I'm staying here, for it. really. <laughs> Good job. I think uh, I think Adam and Blake won. Yeah. I think uh, I think Lee won. Lee won yeah. So I, I don't know what Kyle's deal is. It'd be nice to get a five over. Him. That's yeah, that would be nice. I don't like losing without the dropping sets. I don't like losing sets with those guys. Just like, just yeah, they, they, they were they were, they were nice players. Man. They beat and CR. They haven't they hadn't lost prior to this Andy. I don't know. Really? Sure. Yeah. That was the price here. Wasn't it? Yeah. Andy. Which one's Andy? Andy. 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 We played one doubles for the team tonight, and we had us a match, baby. Yeah, it was um, it was my first match in a long time for state league, uh, especially playing outside. So it was a little bit, you know, nerve wracking for me at least. Um, you know, I'm not playing as much as I used to, but uh, I always believe that I'm good enough to win any match that I'm involved in. Uh, the first set for us was uh, a little bit shaky. Uh, we lost it 4-6, yep. missing, just missing a lot of easy put-away volleys, hitting the frame a lot, at least for me. Uh, I thought we served okay. Yeah. Uh, I got broken after two double faults, which you know comes and goes in my game. Um, but then the second set? Second set, we got off to an early lead, early break, yeah. and then we had two breaks, and we lost one of them, but uh, ended up holding 6-3, yeah. and then uh, had a phenomenal 10-point tie break. You know, we got off to a 7-0 start, and 
every point was quick. It was kind of like we just jumped down their throats and kind of held on for a 10-2 victory. Yeah, there was a there was a big kind of like dynamic shift in that match where they, we felt that they were playing pretty well in the first set, making a lot of volleys cleanly, uh, you know, returning everything that we had. Pretty good returns, I thought, in general, and yeah. I think pretty good returns and then first volleys yeah. for the most part. I was trying to poach a little bit on your return, but I never really could get far enough over. Yeah. Uh, but then in the second set, I think they started making a little mistakes. So like, yeah, sure, we played better, but like, I think it was a combination of we just had to figure out like can we play better and then hopefully they their um their level came down a little bit and luckily yeah. for us it, it did and then the tiebreaker i think we just got a luck like three or four lucky breaks uh he hit the net court it didn't come over yeah. and then he missed an easy volley and so like you know it could have been instead of five zero it could have been three to two um in the tiebreaker when we're switching so yeah. you know i think we got away with one there but um yeah it's good to play yeah. outside again yeah oh, for sure it was a nice win Big yeah, nice job yeah. thanks you too Kyle Doyle, I played one singles, score was 6-4, 6-3. For being severely out of shape and coming off of a weekend of drinking for five days straight, I played okay. All right, Lee Johnson, two singles. <laughs> I won 6-1, six, 6-1. One, six, one. How did you play? Uh, left some out there, but overall pretty solid for my first first singles match in six, seven years, seven maybe? Years. Probably. <laughs> The dramatic walk by the camera. And then the Ian checking his phone. <laughs> Gotta keep up with YouTube. That's why I'm checking comments on YouTube. <laughs> Just, any trolls? Always. Good. Every day. That's my, that's my life. Good. Troll. Keep on trolling. Memes and trolls, Mark. Memes uh, and trolls. I am the troll. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Brian. Just played against Mark's team tonight. Number one singles. I played against Kyle. Really good player. Hit a huge serve. I had a hard time handling that. Big forehand. I uh, lost to him 6-4, 6-3, but I'd like to play him again. We had a really good match. He's a good player, good guy. We had a lot of fun. Miss seeing Mark out on the court, but we'll get him next time. Uh, we're, holding, we're hosting McKinley Mixed. Um, it's coming up on July 9th and July 10th, 2021. We're really excited to have this tournament. Country's largest mixed doubles tournament. There's only one place that you can see Mark Sansett playing mixed doubles tennis with a really good juniors player. He's going to be playing at the McKinley Courts. July 9th, July 10th. Come out and see him. Sign up for the tournament. You might even end up playing against Mark. He's going to be playing a high level tennis. Come out and watch. Come out and play. We'd love to see you. McKinleyMix.com. Check it out. Thanks a lot, guys. And who else from the Essential Tennis Universe is playing? Oh, yeah. Ian's going to be playing. Ian Westerman's going to be playing as well. Um, he's got a really good team. Good partner, former D1 player. Ian's going to be putting up a few videos on his channel, so check those out. Um, he's going to be out there. You might be able to play against him. Come out and watch. Have some beer, enjoy the weekend. It's gonna be a great night, great time, great, uh, good quality tennis. Come out and watch. We'd love to see you at McKinleyMix.com. Thanks a lot, guys. With the camera work being not only for me for this vlog, but also Ian setting up his GoPro to be able to record this match and him being strapped up with a mic, this, you might argue, might be the most well documented state league match in history. So it'll be pretty exciting. And Fortunately, we did win 5-0, and I will be playing next week against probably um, another tough singles opponent, so i got to get in shape for that. So if you guys haven't already, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified of when original content creators like myself upload on YouTube. And as always, guys, happy hitting.